Hi, I'm Mark Goodman, and I'm the chair for public policy, law, and ethics here at Singularity University. There are so many great exponential technologies being introduced. We know about the positives, greater access to information, healthcare, education, and the like, but what are the downsides? The fact of the matter is, is that security and privacy are really suffering in this interconnected world. Take, for example, the 2013 hack against the Target department stores. Almost 110 million accounts were compromised. The hacker, who is believed responsible for that, was only 17 years old and wrote some software that went in through an update into the payment terminals of all 1,700 Target stores in the United States. And that led to the compromise of 110 million accounts. Think about that. That is a massive paradigm shift in the world. It used to be that a criminal could just rob one person at a time. You walk up to somebody, point a gun in their face and say, give me your wallet. But now through technology and our global interconnectedness, one person halfway around the world can rob 110 million people. These are the exponential times that we live in. We've seen example after example of this happening. We thought the people that were stealing our information were just these evil hackers. Turns out there are evil hackers working in government too. They would like to tell us that they're doing all of this for our personal benefit and for reasons of national security. And I have no doubt that in large measure that is true. But what type of world do we live in when the government, any government, without any type of court review or order, can peer into your own life, can tap your phone? whether it be your mobile phone or your home phone. Copy and read all of your internet traffic, your emails, where you check in on Foursquare, who is in your social network, even pull data down through the games you play. One of the things that came out recently was that a national security organization was using the game Angry Birds as a mechanism of stealing people's data. You never would think when you're playing a game, somebody on the other end of the internet is watching what you're doing, but they are because we're all connected via this technology and anything we do with it, anything that's connected to the web is subject to search and seizure, whether by government, hackers, or criminals.